All right, welcome back. Now, as I mentioned, areas to the north up there by Eau Claire, as well as Lady Smith and uh, folks that are just a little bit uh, closer to them down to the south. They've picked up at least about a quarter of an inch to just a little over uh, half an inch in some cases. And then you go down a little bit farther south to areas just like uh, uh, portions of La Crosse, where we've seen at least an inch and a half, possibly two inches of rainfall. And then down to the south, we go down, down a little bit lower. You're going to be picking up more of that uh, areas by Prairie du Chien. They've picked up at least in a couple of inches here or there, maybe near three three inches. We've been expecting that type of rainfall to continue to stream over our locations uh, locally here for the last, say, 24 hours. But as the day progresses, we may have a few breaks. Right now, the winds are light coming in out of the southeast. We have a little patchy fog. You can see by Prairie du Chien working all the way to Viroqua, getting into Basketball as well. Two miles of visibility. That's uh, going to be uh, uh, close to getting closer to dense fog. You have five mile visibility over in Western Dells as well. Eight mile visibility going into uh, Volk Field and everybody else seems to be five by five. We'll go into at least uh, drying conditions slowly but surely for folks in the northern portion and the central portion. Then this rainfall will continue to back out eventually to the east. You can see that continuing on by the 12 o'clock hour. The next batch of rainfall comes in from the southwest uh, and that's going to start to spread a little bit more so first into Iowa and then kind of spread its way out a little bit more so down to the south and beyond. We'll pick up that continuing in and all the way into Minneapolis as well. There's that rainfall will continue to stretch. It's a little bit light there. Heavy stuff down to the, to the south of Mason City and then that rainfall will begin to spread moving inward and getting into at least uh, by four o'clock five o'clock for the evening commute and that means another wet commute for you. We'll also see the heavy stuff still continue to, to build up down to the south and that's also going to happen later on in the midnight hour as well possibly as we go closer into the nine o'clock hour that rainfall and storm activity crosses into La Crosse to the east and then goes into Sparta over to Vokefield and then moves on again to the northeast. That being said, a couple of more rounds of rainfall today. The threat is uh, severe threat is low, so let's not worry about that. But the flash flooding concerns are still for areas that have been hit. So as we continue to go through the next couple of days, uh, that rainfall will continue to uh, move into the rivers and streams, things like that. But we are expecting areas by La Crosse uh, to the south to at least start to kind of break down or fall as far as the river is concerned very slowly. Areas to the north, we're not really concerned about that right now because it's been a little bit uh, less rainfall up there. So as we continue on the highest today in the 70s widespread and that rainfall you just saw is going to continue to uh, uh, exacerbate the issues as we go into the next a few days with more rainfall coming in again for uh, Thursday, Friday and possibly Saturday night into Sunday and Monday. We're expecting 70s with 80s with humidity increasing as we go through the next couple of days and going back down again for Friday and then picking back up uh, just a little bit more so in the lower 80s as we finish out the remainder of the weekend and start next week.